Down the hatch. Finally got the man, Andy Burkhead. About right. time. Shout out to Fiji, baby. <laughs> Best, what is it? What is it? Fraternity. Best fraternity in the nation. Shout out to Killian, too. Legend. Alright, so we're up with this machine shoulder press. We're going to do about three sets. Just really go slow. So I think we're also doing the shoulder fly machine behind. How do you feel about the shorter workout? First, first workout ever. And the science t shirt. Dude's a nerd. <laughs> I do about four to six, then go straight to 40, slowing control. What's going on YouTube? Wait, whoa. Whoa, where's Dowdy at? Okay. Dowdy went to his locker. You're here with Ryan Thompson and Andy Burkett. We're here finishing up shoulder press, lightweight, getting those high reps, low weight, burning the muscles out, building that muscle up, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Move that weight, big dog. Move that weight, big dog. Uh, we're also gonna throw in some biceps today. Just for the pump, really. I don't want to get big. When I'm doing these hammer curls, I like to hold the dumbbell at the top. So when you come up, you get your, your bicep open all the way up, you're holding it from the top. It just works it better, so that's what I like to do when I do these curls. Like this? Yeah. No. yeah. Like what a cute father and son moment. It's important to have your, your thumbs over the bar so you can really go all the way up. Works a little bit better with your hands all the way over. Here. I like to keep these neutral, facing forward. Bring your elbows up, keep your elbows high as you can. That's what's really going to work your shoulders. So whenever I was getting ready for the gym today, I knew I was wearing this, so I was like, might as well match it with the stringer. So now where it's looking all color coordinated up in here. <laughs>
just finished up that workout. I had some shoulders and a little bit of arms. Um, it was kind of short, but uh, it was a good one. I'm going to be filming pretty much the whole day today. So I just wanted the workout to be a little, the, not the main focus today. But I'm going to go get my post-workout meal. And I'm going to talk about some supplements that I use or I think are worth using. Alright, so I got my post-workout meal. I'm about to eat this up. But I want to talk a little bit about supplements and what I use, what I've been using. Honestly, I don't use a lot of supplements. Um, I use creatine after every workout. Just one scoop. You can buy this at Walmart for like $10. Super cheap. And it'll last you a long time. Uh, this is completely natural. It's really good for muscle recovery, building your muscle back up after you tear the muscle fibers. Um, I definitely recommend getting on creatine if you don't already. Um, but other than that, I really don't take a lot of other supplements. I mean, I get my protein in from my food. You know, protein powder isn't a secret formula. It doesn't do anything that great. It's just another way to get your protein in if you're not getting it through your meals. So I don't really even mess with protein powder that much other than maybe my oatmeal once a day. But it's not like I'm trying to make myself drink protein shakes after protein shake you know so I really just try to get my protein in for my meals and do the creatine um, basically the, your diet is going to be your biggest part of gaining muscle or cutting or just eating clean whole foods is really going to change how you look and how you feel and I, that's if, if you're starting out really just try and focus on getting whole meals say four to six four being the minimum of just you know meat some type of carb and then you know some veggies um, that will really change the way you look so that's what I recommend doing so Declan has his first game tonight at 5 they're playing Trebekah so we're going to that I'll be filming some of that uh, that'll be pretty exciting um, but yeah first game big time hope he does well and I know he'll do well he's a beast but I'm gonna eat this up and I guess I'll see you guys at the game so Peace. All right, I just got to the game. Let's go see what these boys at K Dub are about. There's our boy. Look at this guy. <laughs> you can tell he's a baseball player. <laughs> oh, come on. What? All right, halftime score zero zero. You guys have not missed a thing. That's all right. We're hopeful. Hey, Subway. We're headed to the Subway now. Get big dogs got to eat. You know. Subway, baby. We're going to we're going to fuel our body. There's a bunch of guys being dudes. Subway, got that baby. Subway Foot long, bag. baby. Got that uh, Chipotle hey. Southwest steak and cheese. Foot long, Black Forest ham. Can't go wrong. Been doing it for like I don't know, almost ten years probably. Same order, you know. Well, some people just don't like change. That's, I guess that's right, but that's all right. Uh, we're headed back to the game now. What's our what's our predictions for the game right now? Our prediction one is out. Jacob Bowling gets one goal in the with 30 minutes left, and then Max Warren score, scores another one with 15 minutes left. All right, so Ryan's prediction is 2-0. Andy, what are you saying? 1-0, baby. Andy's going 1-0. Jacob with the game winner. I changed Jacob it. Bowling's I, I, I want to go 2-1. 2-1 Wesley. I like what I'm hearing. Uh, uh, Pablo's gonna score for Trebekah. <laughs> yeah, all these fans are yelling at this kid Pablo. We don't know who he is, but he must be cracked. He's gonna score <laughs> but we will see y'all back at the field. I the way. Now we got a nice view right here. Can y'all hear this? Can y'all hear that? Can you all hear this? It's Annie's breathing. It is so loud. It's like I'm in the middle of a tornado out here. Anyways. I got a sore throat. All right. It's gimme. It's gimme. Oh. Come on. Let's go. Up 1 0. Uh, Julian with the goal. Woohoo! Took him to church, baby! 
Uh, Kata with the dub, 1-0. Pretty solid game. That's like more wins than we had all last year. It's a good start to the season for sure. Shout out to all the boys. Max, Jacob, Declan. Max Warren. Max Warren. Lucas. Elijah, Lucas. Zemu with Zemu, the flow. Zemu, the whole game. Oh, Jake Peeves, all you guys. Love Aaron guys. Wayne. Aaron Wayne, can't read about him. <laughs> good stuff, boys. Now, we're here the post game interview with Jacob Bowling. The one and only. Yes. Jacob. First time, the, first time in the vlog, too, by the way. Yes, welcome to the vlog. Jacob, how did it feel out there? First game of the year. How did it feel getting back at it? You know, it was, it was a fun time out there with the guys. You know, we got to finish some more. They did very well. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. We went, overall, okay. went well. And this was your first game in college. How was, how was the adjustment from the high school to college? A lot more uh, physical, but yeah, I'll tell you, it's uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun out there. That's Jacob Bowling. We're expecting big thanks for him this year. We're here with Chris Pinsett, I mean, Declan Fanifer. And Declan, how'd the first game of the year feel? Getting back out there. Give me your thoughts about it. Uh, yeah, it was all right, man. I mean, just speak up. Just speak up. It, 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 it was all right. It was all right. You know, it was a little cold out there. It's business, you know what I mean? Business, business. Okay, just for the fans that didn't know, they won 1 0 today. Big dub. Okay, so Declan, one last question for you. You've always been a guy with a beard, kind of a goatee sometimes. When you're switching it up, you have the mustache. How do you think that has affected your confidence and your performance? How? Like, give, give me your thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, I do it. You know, specifically, there's a significance behind the, uh, the mustache now. Um, basically, um, it's hard to explain. <laughs> We're with Andrew Burkhead now. Loyal fan of the Kentucky Wesleyan Hunter Soccer Program. Long time. Yes, yes. It was a very exciting game today. So, and actually, fun fact, Andrew Burkhead made a prediction today, and it was correct. So I'll tell you more about it. 1-0, baby. I mean, no. I mean, we like uh, what do you think about the game? The we need the mask off, Andy. Yeah, take the mask off. COVID doesn't exist. All right, all right. Uh, what were your thoughts on the game and how these three great <laughs> men played today? Yeah, my, my boys are not there. They got a dub. That's all you need to know. That's all there was to it? That's all there was to it. Could you say that they took them to church? I would indeed say that. You would they say took them to church, yeah. indeed. They took them to church. That's right. We'll see you next time. All right, so as I was editing this video, I realized I didn't have an outro, but I hope you guys liked the video. It's a little different video. Smash the like button. A lot of you guys that are watching are not subscribed, so if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. It ain't a big deal. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. See you in the next one. Dowdy out.